Hey, it's Jody, Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast. So today we are doing another Totally Unrelated. Totally Unrelated was a series of recordings that I made um, back in 20, <laughs> like it's 2025 now, back in 2021, a year ago or less, um, that I made as a a little addition to my newsletter. So my newsletter, once upon a time, would have like a certain theme, and then I'd want to say something different or say something like more, but it just didn't seem to fit. So I started making these separate recordings. So um, if you're a subscriber and you've heard a totally unrelated where you were like, I never heard that one before, that's because I recorded a bunch of them and then just never released them. So um, some of the totally unrelated that you will hear are totally new because they haven't been published. And this might be one of them. So the topic this time is energy, energy. Um, I've spoken a little bit about this in the July 2021 newsletter, Snacky Says, uh, which was actually a video recording. And I'll put a link um, to that in the show notes. Um, it's a pretty short episode, so I don't want to say too much about it, uh, except to say there are certain things that give me energy. And again, I'll talk about it more, but like certain colors, um, certain people, certain vibes and atmospheres. And maybe you have that experience too, right? Like if you've been around someone and your energy, like you just feel like so much more alive and ready for whatever, or you go someplace, like have you ever been to a city or a town, maybe a country, and it's like a vibe, you know, maybe you've never been there before, but you feel like you're coming home, like you, 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 you've arrived, you know, that's what I mean when I talk about um, energy. So I think in this uh, episode, I'm really talking about a color and how it gives me energy, but um, it can really apply to so many things. So I'll leave you with this wish or thought for yourself. If there is something that gives you more energy, do everything in your power to be around that energy, to soak it up, to maybe even creating that energy around you, around yourself. I think that's the word I was looking for. All right. Um, without further ado, here is Totally Unrelated Energy. Hey, Snacky Says.com subscribers. Hey, it's Jody, Jody Taylor of Snacky Says.com. Welcome to Totally Unrelated. Uh, this segment, we talk about chatting, we chat, talk about things um, that are not related to whatever the main topic of the newsletter is. So, um, and these are usually short and sweet. So I'm recording a series of these, probably five to seven minutes. Um, and in your newsletter, email newsletter, you will see a link and a brief mention because this is kind of an aside. So anyway, that's the intro. <laughs> uh, today we are talking about energy, energy. Um, I'm on a walk. I may always do these. Well, not always, but I'd like to do these when I'm out on a walk because sometimes I think of things and I have my phone with me so I can just record and chat. Um, I love the color green. There's something about it that gives me so much energy. Uh, often when I am staring out, I have like vivid memories the last uh, several years of like looking out a window, a car window or a window at work or um, at home and staring at green and trying to soak up all of the the energy that gr the color green gives me, in particular grass and rice paddies. Um, where I lived in Korea, we had rice paddies and um, onions and scallions, green onions. Um, and they all have this vibrant color green and I always try to soak up the energy because when winter comes there won't be a hint uh, in sight. So I guess it's, I'm just talking about like energy in, in nature. I don't know if you can 
relate if there's a color or um, something in nature that gives you energy um, but for me it's the the color green and the color of persimmons in the winter so uh, when I first moved to Korea it was February and my first fall right let me get this let me get the seasons right um, da, 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 da. yeah so my first um, fall going into my first full winter there because I got to Korea in February I remember walking and seeing um, where everything else was barren seeing persimmons in, in Korean they're called gam g-a-m um, and it just this super bright orange against a gray sky and dark brown branches and it would give me energy and I always thought of my mom too because she really likes um, she likes persimmon like me it's, it's hands down one of my favorite fruits probably my favorite I think of it as a Korean fruit because I like I knew what persimmons were I probably tasted them but I never had them as much as I had them in Korea uh, and my experience in Korea is that everything is seasonal so it's not like you are eating fresh persimmons um, in the middle of you know February like you just had them when they were in season and um, they grew all over where I lived. So, um, I don't know, there's some, something about those, the, the color of gum, the color of persimmon in particular, and the color green. Yeah, so that was super quick. <laughs> I wonder if I'm even going to send this because I feel like, and I hate to be one of those people who are like, oh, is this too woo-woo? Because every time somebody says that, I'm like, nah, sis, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, I totally get it. I'm glad that you said something. Um, so yeah, just, you know, out of curiosity, I'm, I'm just curious if you get energy from, from nature, certain um, sights or sounds or, you know, just think of your five senses. Man, these birds will not let me be great. <laughs> Can you hear them in the background? Um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm I'm thinking of. I, I I will often just think about driving in the passenger seat, <laughs> but, but driving um, down this certain road in Gyeongsang. That's where I lived. And just the rice patties. Um, but that's not the only place I saw them. But I always think of that that strip of road. Anyway. Yeah. So this has been Jody. I'm still Jody. <laughs> Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. And again, I'm just wondering if there is something in nature that gives you energy. Um, and in my case, not just energy, but hope. You know, like when I see these bright colors in the seasons that are not winter, I try to draw them into me and keep them with me um, so I can keep up the same energy in winter. Now, as of this recording, winter is months away, but I so long for for green <laughs> and for this energy that even though it's months away, I'm already like, oh, I'm so grateful. It's, I'm so happy to see, see this green. Um, and I'm always looking for color. And that's why I think of persimmons of gum in the winter. All right, this has been once again Jody Jody Taylor of Snacky <laughs> Jody 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 Taylor of Snacky Says dot com. I hope that you um, are well. I hope that there is something, whether or not it's in nature, that gives you energy and gives you hope and strength. Take care.